Hiya, I'm Paul at One Man One Dog. So, I've got another channel, it's called Microdot Camper, and on that channel, I built a single boot camper. Now, a boot camper is a unit that fits in the boot of your car and it open it concertinas out into a bed. Anyway, the link to my channel's up here, and also there's a link to the boot camper playlist, which is up here. Right, so for about two years now, I've wanted to convert my Citroen Berlingo, what I'm sat in now, into a camper van. And my nanny used to always say, don't put off till tomorrow what you can do today, or tomorrow may never come. So, on them words, I'm going to start building a camper van. So, this is the first video of the series, or a playlist, of Citroen Berlingo upcycled camper van conversion. So all the wood that I'm going to use is all going to be upcycled. So it's either going to be free or second hand, bought second hand cheap though. So yeah, the bed and the unit are upcycled pieces. Um, or wood that I've upcycled from Ikea stuff. I've got loads of wood. All I'll probably have to buy is some screws. And I've got a good few screws as well. But I might have to buy screws and fittings to fit it in. And maybe other stuff then like electrics if I want to fit solar panel or the mattress I'll have to buy the mattress but yep yeah. right so let's build right upcycling a micro camper van conversion so here we have ladders off an Ikea loft bed so I've took them apart this is going to start to make the frame of the bed. Right, so this is a front room workshop. So the frame I've just finished making to fit around the portal loom. And I've used the drill, these screws, drill bits, and a mitre saw, and then a few pieces of spare wood. This is upcycled out of Ikea loft bed ladders. So I'll show the rest when I start it tomorrow. Right, so I've done a layout of the back of the car. So if you can see, there's the bed frame and the portal loop. There's a beam going across in the middle there. Well, not in the middle. These are containers. The open lids like that. It's my camping stuff. There's a bit of a space at the back. But these are a few of the diagrams I've done. That's of the back of the car. So is that. I'll do a separate video of these notes and diagrams. As you can see, there's loads. So I'll do a video of the best stuff. And that'd be the space between the seat and this cabinet this cabinet's getting upcycled it's off part of a computer desk it's got a door at the front here and you can have adjustable shelf in it or you could put another one in it as well and that's the blue line is masking tape of where the floor will be the size of a floor space morning it's 11 18 so we've got morning wood <laughs> right i've made a few adjustments i've moved this beam what was here back there so it fits one of the struts the legs on the outside this is a passenger seat end of the frame and i've also moved this beam here so the toilet the portal who fits snugly in between this gap Right, I'll try and lift it up and show you. Right, so I've adjusted this again, this compartment where the portal loo sits. I've put these in and it's recessed, it's sunken, and the lid will fit on that. And the same on the other side. And 
the portal who will be able to come in and out. Right, so I've just got my miter saw out and I'm cutting my legs, the struts. But while I'm doing it in my front room, I live in a second story flat and I don't have a garden and I've got nowhere else to do it and I'm not making much dust, it vacs up, so. All the black wood you can see is off an Ikea loft bed that I cut the legs down and shortened so I had loads of wood left over but this here, I got this for free, someone was throwing that away. I've used it and put this piece across here and these are the legs, two legs. Right, as you can see, I've got it level so a board goes across the portal loop. Also the box fix underneath it. I've put the bottom legs on and now I'm going to take it out to the car and put these legs on. Because these legs that sit in here sit in a foot well. So they actually need to be cut longer. But it's too tight in here. I've not got enough room now. Oh, that's better. Clean carpet. Right, so let's go to the car. Right, the car's parts on a curb and it's up on an angle, but this is the inside. It's not been fixed in. It's raining. So this is where the other legs go and they sit in this foot well. All the crumbs. As you can see, I've put a bottom in it and put foil on the back of it. <coughs> and this is the front of it. So it'll have insulation underneath. Gonna put it in my car now. So I've had the bed back in my flat and I've done more work on it. I fitted this board here and these two boards. These have been hand cut by the way. Um, this board's going to come up on hinges for the portal loop and this board's going to be fixed. But you can see the space underneath there. Fitted this board, this actually attached to the bed and it's got insulation underneath it. So. This here is going to support a board that goes in there and the same on this side so Right, so I'm going to fix it in, but I'm not showing that on this video, I'm going to end it here, back to my face now. Right, so you've been watching me make the bed frame for inside my Citroen Berlingo, and it's going to be an upcycled camper van, and this is part one. Right, so thanks for watching, up next is a link to my channel, and there'll be a playlist for this project. Right, thanks, join me on my next video, bye.